For weeks, the burning question has been, when will restrictions be lifted? Yet now we're coming to see that perhaps for weeks, even months, restrictions may persist, whether by a governor's announcement or by our own degree of cautiousness. Yet unprecedented as these times may be, the question, how long must I wait? When will there be an answer? Is in fact among the most ancient questions of spiritual seeking in life. Our Bible, and in particular our Psalms, repeatedly highlights a speaker beseeching God, usually from a place of suffering or deep disappointment, saying, Ad Anna Adonai, how long, O God? How much longer will this need to be endured? That pleading to know is much the same as a child on a long journey asking, how much longer until we get there? Time takes on a new and unknowable dimension for us when the destination point is not clear. Just as the psalmist asked of God from the midst of suffering, we learn that to even ask the question is to demonstrate an inherent sense of trust and faith that at some point life will improve. To cry out to God from darkness, how long, when will it end, is to believe that God is not distant nor indifferent, but is present with us, holding our hands to help us find our way. To ask the question is to feel that God is empathic to our needs, receiving our hopes, listening to our pleas and our prayers. Now often, the human timetable is dramatically different from God's sense of time. We want everything now, mortal as we are, we humans are in a hurry, as compared to God, who exists in the realm of time measured by eternity. But nonetheless, our hand is touched by God, and when it is, we begin to glimpse a reassuring and longer sense of time and with it, the Jewish religious message that for us, hope is a duty. For we are the descendants of the ancient psalmist calling out from a dark place of certainty, perhaps tinged with vulnerability. And in that smallness, we too call out, Ad Anna Adonai, how long, O God? But when we do, we know the answer is less important than knowing there is one to whom we can call, and that the answer is felt in God's nearness grasping our hands with the presence of human love, with enduring hope, and with unforeseen strength.